Hey guys, as you can probably already tell with the title of this video, I'm going to be discussing Season 2 of Beauty and the Beast. So, Comic Con happened two weeks ago, but I haven't been able to really, you know, gather all the information that came out of Comic Con for Beauty and the Beast until recently because I've been out of town, I've been occupied, and I've been sick. I'm still sick, but I'm feeling slightly better, at least good enough to make this video. So I made a list of all the things that I'm happy about coming out of season two for Beauty and the Beast. Uh, first thing I have to say is that I wasn't happy with how season one of Beauty and the Beast ended, to be completely honest. I was disappointed with it. I felt like once Vincent and Catherine got together, the edge that the series had was just lost. And the Vincent and Catherine relationship just became too redundant for me to really enjoy. So I'm happy to hear that in season two, um, Vincent and Catherine are going to be broken up, pretty much. Um, it's going to take place three months after the finale, which is great. I like when TV series do that because I feel like when they do stuff like that, it makes storytelling a lot more interesting because there's a lot they need to cram into certain episodes because of those, that three month gap and I like that because a lot of story that can be told and a lot you know a lot of stuff can be told um once you're in this new season so that I'm happy about uh the other thing I'm happy about is that the series is going to have a beginning a middle and an end arc um I feel like season one really didn't have that because it was still new and you know they were still trying to get their footing of what you know how they wanted the series to be and I also feel like because they weren't sure they're going to have a second season, that they did certain things to please the fan, you know, just for the time being, thinking, you know, we may not get a second season, so let's do this to make, you know, the fans happy. For example, putting Vincent and Catherine together as soon as they did. That's my opinion. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's how I feel how it was. So it's good to hear that season two is going to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, the other thing I'm happy about is in regards to Vincent. Um, Vincent is going to be more beast-like, which is great. I always like the idea of Vincent being more beast as the story progresses rather than losing his beastness and becoming more human. I think him becoming human completely is going to be boring. I like the idea of Vincent becoming more of a beast as time progresses and Catherine having to deal with the fact that he's never going to become human. He's always going to be a beast and he's just going to get more and more of a, of a, he's going to be more and more of a beast than he is going to be human. I think that's an interesting twist to the whole Beauty and the Beast story. Uh, other thing that I enjoy with what I'm seeing coming out of this second season is that as a fellow New Yorker, um, represent, um, that they're going to be filming in New York. Uh, I like that. They're not going to completely be filming in New York. They're still going to be filming in Toronto, but they're going to film particular things in New York, which is great because I feel like, you know, watching a, this series as a New Yorker, you can tell certain things are not in New York, you know? Um, the Chrysler building being CG'd eye into that one, you know, same scene of them outside of their station is just... Um, too much for me to handle. So there's certain things that I would love to see them do in New York and make, you know, give that true New York feeling to those who recognize and know New York to be. So that's great that they're going to be doing that. Um, another thing I'm happy about is that Heather's going to be returning. We weren't sure whether or not she was going to be returning because the actress who plays Heather was uh, cast in another TV series. And so a lot of people were like, is she coming back or isn't she coming back? She has to come back because a lot of people like Heather. I, I like Heather. I like Heather. I like her relationship with Catherine. So I'm happy to see that she's coming back. The other thing I'm happy about is that Tess and Joe are no longer going to be together in season two. Look, I'm just anti-relationship when it comes to the second season. Anyways, reason why is because I really enjoy the Tess character. I feel like she's a very strong character. But I feel like the whole Joe thing just brought her, you know strong independent woman you know strong personality down to the floor because she's like with this guy who's married he says he loves her but he never wants to leave his wife it was just a hot mess and I'm happy it's not going to continue on come season two I felt like the relationship was just not really going anywhere and I really wasn't really caring for it so I'm happy to see that Tess is going to be back being 
an independent single woman doing her thing. And I hope she does find somebody in season two that's worth something. So those are some things that I've seen so far coming out of season two from the interviews, the articles, the panel of Comic-Con that I'm personally happy about, looking forward to, and makes me you know, have a smile when it comes to season two. So I'm curious for those who are subscribed to me who are Beauty and the Beast fans, like what in all that are you happy about, unhappy about? Um, let me know. We can have a discussion about this. I'm, I'm curious. Okay, with that said, I am out. Goodbye.